Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome former governor of South Carolina and ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley. My fellow Republicans, President Trump, President Trump asked me to speak to this convention in the name of unity. It was a gracious invitation and I was happy to accept. I'll start by making one thing perfectly clear. Donald Trump has my strong endorsement, period. country is at a critical moment. We have a choice to make. For more than a year, I said a vote for Joe Biden is a vote for President Kamala Harris. After seeing the debate, everyone knows it's true. If we have four more years of Biden or a single day of Harris, our country will be badly worse off. For the sake of our nation, we have to go with Donald Trump. But there's more to it than that. We should acknowledge that there are some Americans who don't agree with Donald Trump 100% of the time. I happen to know some of them. And I want to speak to them tonight. My message to them is simple. You don't have to agree with Trump 100% of the time to vote for him. Take it from me, I haven't always agreed with President Trump. But we agree more often than we disagree. We agree on keeping America strong. We agree on keeping America safe. And we agree that Democrats have moved so far to the left that they're putting our freedoms in danger. I'm here tonight because we have a country to save. And a unified Republican Party is essential for saving her. For those who have some doubts about President Trump, I want to tell you a few things about the Commander-in-Chief I know and worked with. As Ambassador to the United Nations, I had a front row seat to his national security policies. 
We sure could use those again. Think about it. When Barack Obama was president, Vladimir Putin invaded Crimea. With Joe Biden as president, Putin invaded all of Ukraine. But when Donald Trump was president, Putin did nothing. No invasions. No invasions, no wars. That was no accident. Putin didn't attack Ukraine because he knew Donald Trump was tough. A strong, a strong president doesn't start wars. A strong president prevents wars. Then look at the Middle East. Every problem in that part of the world can be laid at the feet of Iran. The dictators who chant death to America are the bankrollers and weapons suppliers for Hamas and Hezbollah. They're behind the barbaric massacres and the hostage taking. Once again, compare Trump and Biden. Trump got us out of the insane Iran nuclear deal. He imposed the toughest sanctions ever on Iran. And he eliminated the arch terrorist Qasem Soleimani. Iran was too weak to start any wars. They knew Trump meant business and they were afraid. And then there's Joe Biden. He lifted the sanctions. He begged them to get back into the nuclear deal. He surrendered in Afghanistan. He sent every possible sign of weakness. Even now, while Hamas is still holding Ameri Americans hostage, Biden is pressuring Israel instead of the terrorists. Between Israel and Hamas, Donald Trump is clear about who is our friend and who is our enemy. Then look at the border. It's the single biggest face, it's the, it's the single biggest threat Americans face. Under Joe Biden, migrants are coming into our country by the thousands every day. We have no idea who they are, where they end up, or what they plan to do. And let me remind you, Kamala had one job, one job, and that was to fix the border. Now imagine her in charge of the entire country. <laughs> Under Donald Trump, we didn't have the border disaster we have today, and we won't when he is president again. I was proud to serve America in President Trump's cabinet. And I'll tell you something you won't hear from the critics. He appreciated advice and input. Americans were well served by his presidency, even if they didn't agree with him on all things. Now, to my fellow Republicans, we must not only be a unified party, we must also expand our party. We are so much better when we are bigger. We are stronger when we welcome people into our party who have different backgrounds and experiences. And right now, we need to be strong to save America. This is a defining moment. 
not only for our party, but for our country. Our fellow Americans are fearful right now. Families are suffering from inflation and wages that don't keep up with prices. Young people are being indoctrinated to think our country is racist and evil. The Jewish community is facing an obscene rise in anti-Semitism. Too many minorities are trapped in communities devastated by crime. Our foreign enemies win when they see Americans hate each other. They see that today, whether it's on college campuses or in a field in Butler, Pennsylvania. But we can conquer those fears with strength and unity. No president can fix all of our problems alone. We have to do this together. America has an amazing ability to self-correct. In this moment, we have a chance to put aside our differences and focus on what unites us and strengthens our country. Let us join together as a party. Let us come together as a people, as one country, strong and proud. Let us show our children and the world that even on our worst day, we are blessed to live in America. God bless you. Thank you. God bless the United States of America.